Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesverse. In this video, we are going to see how to enable multi-factor authentication in Salesforce as well as how you can get rid of remembering Salesforce passwords by using Salesforce feature of Lightning Login. So let's begin with the enablement of multi-factor authentication in Salesforce org. So I am on the setup page and to enable MFA, I will go to identity verification setting. So I'll just search for identity and I'll click on identity verification. Over on this page, you can see the second section about multi-factor authentication. All you have to do is check the first checkbox that is require multi-factor authentication for all direct UI logins to your Salesforce or and save these settings. One more thing you need to keep in mind is go to your session settings and make sure that uh, in the security levels the multi-factor authentication have the highest assurance okay if not just add it and save it once that is done all you have to do is uh, log out from your salesforce org and uh, you have to connect your salesforce org with the salesforce connector application on your mobile phone so if it is not, if you have not installed it, install the Salesforce connector application first, add your account and I'm going to show you how to add the account in, in that application. So I'll just cancel it out to add the account in your Salesforce authenticator app. You have to go to your profile icon, click on the setting and click on the advanced user details. I scroll a little bit on this page, you can see app registration salesforce authenticator settings over here so all you have to do is first uh, okay it's possible that my org is already connected so i'll just uh, disconnect it now there is no connection so i'm just gonna click connect here and as you can see now it is asking for a verification code first so it would come on my email so i'll just uh, give this verification code over here and click verify now here comes the settings for the salesforce authenticator so as you can see first step is to download the salesforce authenticator app second step is uh, open the app and add your account and third step is whatever phrase is given on that screen you have to give that phrase two word phrase over here and click connect so uh, let me just uh, connect my mobile phone so i'll just uh, mirror my mobile phone here so you can see i have installed this salesforce authenticator app and to get a start from here you need to click on add account and now we are seeing two word phrase as usual picture so I'll just go back on this screen and uh, I'll just give this phrase over here and click connect. Once that is done, you can see on the application, it is giving me the username of that account and uh, the service that is Salesforce, obviously. So I'm just going to click on this button connect and you can say that uh, uh, you can see that it is saying that account is added. Click on got it and uh, if you go back here you can see that you're uh, you're logged in in your salesforce account and on this application you can see the uh, connected account over here with a passcode and uh, some other settings that uh, that it does have okay now uh, let's uh, uh, enable the or uh, we have already enabled the uh, multi-factor authentication from the identity verification settings so let's just to verify it first okay we have already enabled and our org is also connected with the salesforce authenticator application now let's log out from here and login back so i'm just gonna give the password over here and click login so as soon as I do, uh, it tells me that check your mobile device, you might have received a request to, to approve. So if I come back over here, 
you can see there is this request has come from the from this org and uh, it is also giving me the uh, details of the client so all i have to do is approve it once it is approved if i come back over here you can see the check icon over here and it is going to be logged in now we i, uh, I was talking about in the in the uh, very beginning that how to get rid of the uh, remembering of the salesforce password so here is a this is a prompt which is coming after the multi-factor authentication enablement you can enroll in the lightning login to to get rid of the remembering of your password thing okay so how it works basically first your account is connected to the uh, salesforce authenticator app and uh, you are logging in using the uh, using the approval on the salesforce authenticator app then it will allow you to use the authenticator itself without even providing the password okay so how it's uh, how it works exactly so i'm just gonna click on enroll in lightning login and again it will go to my authenticator app with a request whether you want whether you uh, want to approve this change or not so i'm just going to approve this request okay so you can see now that uh, it is saying that uh, uh, it, it is again giving me the uh, checkbox icon and it is saying that congratulations you are logged in you are you are enrolled enrolled in lightning login okay and click got it once you click on this button you will be logged in in your salesforce account using the multi-factor authentication now let's see the whole process in action i'm just going to log out again now what is going to happen i do not need to provide the password because i'm using a multi-factor authentication request uh, and the lightning login feature so i'm just going to click on the different username let me just give this username separately and let me give first the password over here as well okay I click on login and uh, I'll just go back to the authenticator app and I'm going to approve it okay and as you can see over here it is checked and uh, I would be logged in now what if I log out again okay this time I had provided the password now see it in action without even providing the password so I have logged out this is my username i'm just going to click on it and now you can see a request has come through in my authenticator app all i have to do is approve this request and see the magic out here you are logged in automatically in your salesforce org you don't need to provide the password anymore so that is the power of multi-factor authentication that allows you to to just not providing the password but it also enhances the security of your salesforce org authentication and uh, using the lightning login you can get rid of the problem of remembering your salesforce org passwords so that's all we are we are gonna discuss in this video thanks for watching